this is actually an appeal. It's an appeal to somebody called Polly Tyneby and um, she knows about murder um, and uh, has similar ideas that I have. But I trained as a GP uh, to leftness before a uh, international uh, <clears throat> calls. You could make them yourself. And we had to sign the official secret sack because we were dealing with royal calls. And the penalty for breaking the, the secrets act is actually death. It's uh, it's considered treason. So, um, Murdoch got away with it. He paid somebody. He must have paid somebody. And the journalists must know that. Now, there's Oprah. What's she going to do with the money? And she's obviously funding black people. And she's obviously funding Obama um, and what happened. And uh, for that, um, I say to her, I worked in the Bronx. I voted twice for Obama. And the people who are actually making the meals there were all black and they were all chefs. And they were having to feed kids the stuff that they dumped on the Obamas because she wanted to be new and fancy. And, you know, but if you're dealing with the kids' meals, it's against the law to do that. But what they do do is call each other nigger. It's a term of endearment, you know. And the young black kids, they goad everybody. Hey, nigger, nigger, nigger. Because if you say it, <laughs> they'll have your ass in court. You know, um, so that's that. So this is my point, that Murdoch got away with it. And the journalists must know. But what he said was, yeah, well, you're after me. But what about the BBC? So obviously we know that we need to clear out the BBC altogether. Why? Because when it comes to nationalism, right, there isn't anything that Boris will do. And I have it on good authority for Mr. from Mr. Putnam, you know, that uh, we're talking about schoolboys here. And I know that we're calling him, he's a liar and he's a journalist. He got away with it. He also got away with the taped recording of his girlfriend saying that he was spoiled. And if that's the case, I've already dealt with that in a video to Northern Ireland. So, what do we do about that? I don't really think that it's what I do about it. But um, it's what will Boris do next? And we've got, we're stuck with him. So, that's my appeal to you, eh, Polly? Um, there isn't any other way that I can think that, that it could be done. Um, because obviously you journalists know, you know. And the other thing was Trump, right? Like everybody else, he's human. Right? And what he said is the media and the false news, you know, um, and the, the sludge, you know, get it all away. But I've got everybody else like we Greta and breaking the law and breaking the law that is there to protect the person who has all power in the United Kingdom to protect us from Margaret Thatcher, Theresa May, Boris, everybody, all, all the parties. She's there all the time. And uh, the other thing is that she's anointed. And that means that she's had to set herself apart because what she does for us, the people, um, she does that for God and for the royal family. And uh, I think this is a bit much. And as far as I can see, you know, Harry, oh, I want you to keep talking, Harry, because it's obviously doing you good. And, and, and who are we to say anything? Which journalist is going to say this, that, or the next thing? I know that you're not concerned about the money that, and... And, and, and that's okay. Um, and it's the same for the rest of the, the royal family. But as long as I'm alive, um, I don't want the wind to blow on any of you, okay? But we really need to get to the bottom of all of this. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. My name is Jean <coughs> Keenan, and I'm a nurse. Um, and I live in Glasgow. And thank you very much.